I heard a story by a young, attractive, beautiful young lady. I had first heard about it, and then I met the young lady, and she told me her story. Um, her story is incredible. It is hard to believe. I have with me here a very attractive young lady, Miss Mendelssohn, who is from San Mateo, California. She is a student and uh, is now working uh, as a secretary in a law office in San Jose, California. Miss um, Mendelssohn, uh, your story really intrigued me and I wanted to get it on film. Um, tell me, um, how did you, um, well, let's begin at the beginning. My two girlfriends and myself were in the hotel room and it was, well, we had been smoking and we were quite stoned and uh, I was getting very warm. It was a hot night. So I decided that I'd go out for a walk and there were signs posted all over uh, both Morocco and Marrakesh that uh, white Caucasian young girls shouldn't be walking on the streets by themselves mm -hmm. unescorted. But, um, and I usually didn't because I was stoned or it wasn't too dark out yet. I just didn't really think anything would happen. So I went outside and I was walking down the street and the next thing I knew somebody grabbed me from behind they put me in a car, and it was four men, four Arabs, and uh, they drove me to the outskirts of the city. They took me from compound to compound. This wasn't just one compound. And this went on for 18 months. There was another girl who I became friendly with that they had also kidnapped. She was an English girl. and. Uh, well, after they get tired of you, uh, the men have their fun by making you have sex with the animals. And um, this one girl, they made her uh, have sex with a dog, and um, they told her that she could go free if she did. And at that point, nothing would be, you know too bad to get out of there. So she said she would, and the dog to make love to her, and uh, uh, how? he put his penis inside of her, mm -hmm. only there's something on the end of it, it's like a round ball. Mm -hmm. It's terrible. It swells up, and when he'd been in her for a little while, the Arabs took a stick and they hit the dog on the back. And it made the dog pull out. And she started bleeding all over. And the dogs were licking up the blood. And she just laid there and she bled to death from the Did um, Did you have uh, sex with animals too? Well, I had seen that happen to her. So when they got tired of me and transferred me to the animals. I said I would, but instead of allowing the animal to penetrate me with his penis, I made love to him orally. Oh? How many times? Oh, I'd rather not. Um. Did uh, uh, the animal have climax in your mouth? Were there, uh, were there many other girls there besides just you and this English girl? Were there other girls there? Yes, but they went from compound to compound and you didn't get to know them too well and most of them died within a matter of a few months. They killed them. What happened to these fish? Well, how did you get away? Well, after I made love to this dog a few times, they were amazed or pleased or something, and they 
agreed to take me back, and they took me back to the outskirts of Marrakesh. And I didn't have any money, and I didn't have any clothes. I didn't. So my. They dropped me off there, and I went into Marrakesh, and I had no way of getting a job or making any money or contacting anybody. There was nobody there to help me. So I became a prostitute for a little while until I could make some money enough to make it back to Morocco. Then I went to the American Embassy, and they called my parents and sent me home.